And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Now, do you think he says suck it south like I do? Is that what everyone's hearing? I'm sure. Suck we, it south. I'm sure we can make up, uh, look up the lyrics, but that's not as fun. So let's <laughs> just say yeah. It's true, it is not as fun. Hey, everyone, it's the bonfire. It is the, what do we call it? Lost Tapes. Yeah. <laughs> it was your turn. It was a great turn. It's the Lost Tapes Thursday. Yeah, it is my turn, but I'm like, there's so many things else we could call it. Lost Tapes, there's a lot of things that sound like Lost Tapes. Yeah. The mixtape, the oh. uh, mixology. Oh. The forgotten yeah. stuff, cutting room floor. Yeah. Did we go with Lost Tapes? We did. Director's cut? The director's cut. Uh, yeah, Redux. Yeah, the Redux is the best. Um, it is the Lost Tapes. Bonfires is uh, Thursday. We came in. I, I came in hot on this one. A lot of things going in. One, forgot my pa- uh, forgot my badge to get into the building. Thank you for fixing that, Jacob, my weekend friend who came out on a, on a Friday. Jacob hung out. He was very excited to tell some news about a, a ship that was found. <laughs> And it turns out it just comes off of a bizarre knowledge. I forget that Jacob has a boyish love of sharks. He looks at them, <laughs> and he goes, what it must be like to be so powerful and just own your environment like that. Do you ever think he's like, you it? wanted to be like, remember when that uh, when that black guy got in your face in Astoria, and for that split second when he turned his back, you, you put your... You put your hand up to the middle of your forehead, start doing your shark fin. You're like, oh, right now. You're so lucky. We're on land. Right now. <laughs> Jacob Land's shark batat. He goes, <laughs> he doesn't even, he can't feel me. <laughs> but I can feel him. Sharks go off a radar. You see, the glamour teeth will just cut you up. <laughs> it's my powerful back teeth that will pulverize your bones. Hey! Move, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh. <laughs> the ship that was mentioned. Fucking pussy. In- Whoa! <laughs> the ship- shark, land shark, Jacob Vita. The, the ship that he. Quint mentions in Jaws, the USS Indianapolis, they found it. They just found it. Yeah. But you know that because you're a any, Jaws fan. Any survivors? Yeah, not a deep news. sea diving Hey, fan. Jacob, any survivors? They <laughs> 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 found anybody? <laughs> anybody, uh, anybody still playing cards on the poop deck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, go on with your ship knowledge. <laughs> Uh, so they, you know, they just found it. So yeah, seventy-four years. Seventy-four years. Anything valuable on it? It's a navy ship, so it's uh, missile. So whores, bunch of whores and gay stuff, <laughs> and white clothing. <laughs> white clothing. That's like, hilarious. They just find all kinds of like, like wood, like wood blocks with like teeth marks in them. Just a bunch of like gay sex things. Like. We found over five boxes of poppers, <laughs> and they were wet. <laughs> <laughs> Just wet ammonia. It turns out when the ship went down, all the wet ammonia killed everybody. They go, Either got eaten by a shark or by Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. This ship's going down, and so is Luke. Oh. As oh. your captain. I've heard of sharks being in the sea, but not circus seals. Pull them out. Sucking <laughs> 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 dick. Suck him if you see him, everybody. We just hit an iceberg. Sammy, is that what happened? It hit an iceberg, or was it? Oh, it's a tragic. <laughs> it's one of the saddest. <laughs> it's the scene from Quinn's, right? Yeah, they were <laughs> delivering the Hiroshima bomb. That was yeah. the ship, oh, and it got slammed by a great. Japanese torpedo and sunk. Power <laughs> bottoms and twinks first. Yeah. <laughs> Lifeboats are for sixty-nine and only. <laughs> You can fuck in the water. The salt help. <laughs> um, well, I hope they... That'd be uh, fucking great. 74 years under the water. Like, find there is a fucking... Is a, a Sylvester a Sylvester record? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're just listening to. This is a straight Sylvester right here. <laughs> Sylvester and Yaz defines this kind of music. Yeah. You know Yaz, right? Yeah, it's blow or gay music. Yeah. It can yes. be blow or gay. What's 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 blowier or gayer, Yaz or Seba- or Sylvester? That's going to you, DJ Lou. I'll tell you that. You're a DJ. This is Yaz? Yeah. Oh, this is fucking jaw locked music. This smoking is- cigarette after cigarette. Just like No, I'm serious, man. We can start a business. 
To, <laughs> to also, how, what's the runtime on this song? Four minutes. Four yeah. mi- for those four minutes in your life is the only four minutes you'll always say, the only thing to make this moment better, right now, sitting around my friends, is that we, myself included, we're all transgender people. This is right now, this moment would be so much happier right now if we were just wearing like nine inch heels. And I had big pink hair. Turn it up, Luke. Turn it up, Luke. Cross dress. You don't have to be transgendered to cross dress. No, but I also wore my insides to oh, feel. Okay. You <laughs> like want to feel born like you were Mrs. Holland? I don't feel like I was born in the wrong skin. I also want to go through a torturous uh, mental, mental situation. How about both worlds collide? We do enough blow. No, there are no limits. No rules, no laws. Let's just fucking get dressed up like broads. Like Let's space broads. Ha- space broads sovereignty party. Is this, uh, uh, do you have Don't Go? Oh. Come on, dude. I know my Yaz. Yes. Just yeah. these two, actually. But these are the only two you need to know. You can listen to these. If I played after this, I just started over the other one we just heard, you would just start moving another way again, what, and you what, would eventually just do blow. What was up with the uh, amount of heart attacks in the early 80s? Because I feel like if you're just doing blow and dancing to this, people are just dropping. The, <laughs> the eyes always wide <laughs> open. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Well, he's like, just, there's got to be another place open, man. He goes, I'll tell you this. These 7-Elevens, they're going to be back. I know a guy who worked at gas stations. He says they, you know, people trust the colors. It's orange, green. Those are trusting colors. Dude, man, I think I'm going to kill my wife. (laughs) Hey, man, if you want to go to a diner, that's cool. But he goes, do they have breakfast potatoes or hash browns? It means a lot to my decision of what I do next. Oh, I saw these guys live and I passed out. (laughs) Well, actually, I didn't pass out. I almost died. Too much blow. Yo, you guys want to kiss? (laughs) (laughs) Is it weird that I'm thinking about, like, the three of us just in a sandwich and, like, just removing the parts and changing it? Dude, your fucking body's pretty great. I've never said that before to a guy, but, like, I feel cool enough to say that. Oh, yeah, man, I'll tell you. I want to kiss Rick in HR. I want to kiss him. <laughs> like, really deep, deeply kiss him. Are you, like, I'm, like, cold, but, like, like super sweaty? Yeah, they don't make the drug music now. It's That's what, what like, they call that trap music. Trap like, music, but that doesn't... What is trap? Trap music does not sound like you're but supposed to... But look back to the 90s, there wasn't really... Well, this like, is a speed, sped up Coke music, for sure. A bunch of songs I like from the 80s. Uh, Christine, who has just happened to done more cocaine in her life than I ever have. Um, it makes her uncomfortable. Does this I've never, music I've never make you uncomfortable? I've never associated... Co- I don't know anything about Coke, so I've never associated with music at all. Or Does this music make you uncomfortable? No, this doesn't really make me uncomfortable. There are a few songs. I can't think of exactly what song Jay's talking about would, right now. Would it make oh. you uncomfortable if I played this music and just judged your shoes? If I was like, <laughs> oh, so you wore those clip-clops in here? I'll tell you the exact... Nice horse hooves, you dirty bitch. <laughs> horse hoves. I'll tell you the two right now. Uh, put on a Roxy Music Club. Oh, yeah, you know, we, we've done this before yeah. with, yeah, 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 with, yeah, with Christine's Crack Corner. Yeah, she I, does, she I does I nothing. And, and that and, uh, and Joe Jackson stepping out. Those yeah. Stepping out, get, stepping out is just, I'm like, this is written by drug addicts. Yeah. It's more, more like stepping on. Which I'm is really stepping weird. on my blow. Yeah, because where you're coming from. Oh, my God. I get the point. I, I, what I assume, this song very to me says, like, oh, you know, yeah, we should is? be doing coke. It's like, you should be just running in place while you're making a business deal. With this song is you laying on, this is your, you laying on a leather couch without a pillow trying to sleep and your heart's beating through your chest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just chugging NyQuil, yeah. trying anything. You go, come on. Come on. Got to get up early tomorrow. Got that job. <laughs> every every breathing is like a, yeah. a really emotional. Dude, that was me. It wasn't on coke, but when I t- when I ate mushrooms by myself at Moon Tower and I tried going to sleep for Breath my flight, is a miracle. And I kept being like, no, no. I like I like shut your eyes, Dan. Shut your eyes. And they'd be like, oh god, I'm so high. And then I'd open my eyes and be like, ah. Sometimes when you're on mushrooms, too, you shut your eyes and it's like trippier with your shut eyes than with yeah. your open eyes. Yeah. What? <laughs> when you're on what? Mushrooms. mushrooms. I don't know, man. I don't think Jay's ever taken enough mushrooms. What about Bonnaroo? I mean, yeah, you know, sure. The tree was cool. It was cool looking at the tree with the lights. Oh, man. <laughs> I just don't know what everyone's <laughs> it's a profound experience what would have. I I like to be aware that it's that it's a, a substance in my body that's making it happen. 
Do you know what I mean? I don't like to lose faith when just go. It's like, I looked at that tree and saw the face of something, and I cried. And then I felt elation when I realized that we are all connected on some yeah. granular. I, uh, you don't like that? I don't want to go there. That's why? Because it's ass nine. <laughs> That's why. It's ass nine. It's like, it's a different kind of drunk. And it's like, allow, it's because it's not usually aggressive or shitty. It's, it's what, you know what I mean? It's like, allowed? It is. And everyone goes like, for some reason, those ones are the ones like, oh, no, you're actually, I think, getting to a higher cult. You're actually finding a different plane of existence. Like, no, you're drunk. <laughs> you're just drunk also. So you're saying... It's just not drunk, and it's just not impairing you in the same way. So you're way saying that, like, though. mushrooms are giving you the same kind of fucked up as... Well, like, when you get drunk, I've had you're friends poisoned. who get drunk, and they're like... Let me start a business. Like, let's actually start a business. Let's get into it. Like, let's see what the bank says. Dude, I have this whole thing. Like, you don't know this and because like, I've never told you, but I go home and, and I, like, write my business plans. And we should do this. And the next day, like, hey, you want to start that bar? And he's like, what? <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, no, man. No, I feel like shit. So you know, I, couldn't, I couldn't get it, even get it. So you're saying I don't that, have any business savvy. That's the same as you as you're saying when you do mushrooms and you're like sometimes um when you take air in it's gasoline for yeah. your soul. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is the same thing. Right. Does that bother you? Did you just have an, did I just give you an epiphany of sorts? No, yeah, a little that? bit. And it, it makes total sense. I mean, first off, I was going to talk about this on the live show, but in the latest Rolling Stone, there's an article about Chester Bennington, and it's about his suicide and how out of nowhere it is. It was Jay's <laughs> jerk, choke jerk theory. If you just plug that in there, it, it sounds like they're explaining it for you. It really, it solves all the questions that the article raises where I'm like, damn it, Jay. So there's these moments where, and that was just it. Where everyone just asks themselves, like, why would he do this so suddenly from such a low hanging object? <laughs> and why would he do it where he seems like he can control it? But then he Jay, seems so happy. But Jay's right with the mushrooms, but I like feeling like that. So, I mean, it's Sure do. Yeah. Uh, there's Im- there's impairments that I absolutely love. Mm-hmm. But that said, like it's the the thing you're gonna say goofy there. That if, if you have if you start having any kind of like emotional something from yeah. it, like it's just being like drunk. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's all it is. Yeah, it's drugs. So as I'm saying to go, it's like no, I think I really realized that moment. That all lights connected. It's like, well, I'm sober, and I can say that too. Like, sure, I get what you're trying to say, but you didn't have an epi- You know, what I mean, you're just yeah. you just stared just at it for up. fucking 20 minutes and go, I've got some thoughts on this. <laughs> it's just never been. I've, I've never like, uh, and they've never hit me that way. Also, yeah, uh, to the point where I start to feel like people are uh, people are making shit up. Yeah. Oh, about drugs like acid. Um. I look, I think acid fucking whacks you out, I guess, in some way. But I'm almost like, with the mushrooms, man. Like, so you're saying I, I, I it's different. Get, sure, look. You know what? I don't think people are making it up. I take it back. Because I've just seen things affect people in different ways. I've seen people really freak out on weed, where you're just like, yeah. weed couldn't do that to you. Isn't that weird? When like, you, you know, where you're just like, it can't do it. It's like, you're having another reaction. Like, like, you're, like you're panicking and yeah. something's happening because you're well, like, Jay, what, it's like being allergic. It's get like grip on yourself. Like weed it's, like, say, it's like being allergic to cilantro. Like when people say that, they used to say that when I was a waiter all the time, uh-huh. and you can't be. You, it can taste bad to you. Right. But you can't be physically, like, you can have no major allergic reactions to cilantro. Is that true? Why? Yeah. I don't, it's, it's, it's I don't a know. It's a hypoallergenic thing. It's a, it's a thing where, um, just, Christine can't look it up right now. Maybe you can, Jacob. But, like, we would make guacamole and they'd be like, don't put cilantro. Right, right, right. I'm deathly allergic. And you're like, you've already ate five bites of it. So that's not true. <laughs> you've just murdered me, <laughs> sir. Do we have that all <laughs> But that happened all the time. Holding their throat. (laughs) (laughs) Like Total Recall. (laughs) 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 When people say they hate cilantro, they often attribute it to the food feeling soapy aftertaste. Um, Cilantro tastes like soap for 4 to 14% of the population. But uh, look up why you can't be allergic to it. What? You look up cilantro tastes like soap? No, but it does because that's what people say. They're like, I'm allergic and it tastes like soap. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, but you're not. A, you can't be actually physically. Just look up to a cilantro allergy. Yeah, cilantro. I allergy. think you could be allergic to anything at this point. But I'm saying it's the point you were making with weed, where they're like, I'm freaking out, man. My brain's melting. You're like, no, 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 no. You're freaking out because of a different panic attack. Right. Yeah. yeah no, exactly. Yeah. And sure. You're attributing. So when people used to do that with cilantro all the time, they'd be like, just to let you know, it's always like these businessmen 
at like lunch, and they're like, "Can we get the guac?" Uh, like they order the guacamole, which has a shit ton of cilantro in it. And then when they're ordering their main dish, they're like, "By the way, no cilantro. I'm deathly allergic to it." You're like you're a fucking moron, and I wish you were, because then you would be dead. Yeah. The symptoms of a cilantro allergy are basically the same as symptoms for any food allergy. Really. Allergic well, symptoms. It's a, it's you can a, have a cilantro allergy, but the, it's not the allergy that makes it taste like soap. Can People you say die? Christine, yeah, look up. Can, can you so, die from can it? a cilantro not, allergy kill you? Because if not, I was. So close to murdering people. You know, my passive energy would have... Because you believe you can't do it, so when someone goes, allergic to cilantro, he goes, are you idiot? And you start like, really, like, medicine grinding up so much of it. He goes, I'm going to put cilantro in your water. She goes, I'm going to put it yeah. in your fucking chips. Me and your father, we went to that Dos Caminos, and we were having a great time. The waiter... Felt combative. I don't know what it was. A severe cilantro allergy could lead to anaphylactic. <laughs> <laughs> You're sure that you could be allergic? To- <laughs> cilantro is just people say they're allergic to it when it tastes like soap. That's just a gene thing. Oh, you almost there, killed everybody. Was there cilantro in this? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 no, there's no cilantro with that at all. Yeah. No, why would we put cilantro in that uh, in that burrito? <laughs> why would we put cilantro in the cilantro lime guacamole? Does anyone have an EpiPen? My father's deathly allergic to cilantro. Do you think he is, idiot? Look it up. <laughs> By the it way, can't fucking happen. Jay, I'm pouring one water pitcher into another so it's full. I go, it's impossible. <laughs> I've closed lunches here for four years. I know. It doesn't happen. Dude, that is... No one is allergic to cilantro. When you said it's like it can't happen, I'm like, I feel like any plant, I feel like any plant, someone could be deathly allergic to. Dude, I cannot believe... He goes, I'm allergic to peanuts. It's an allergy. I'm allergic to peanuts. Oh, peanuts. Peanuts kill you. They're in every bar. Get the fuck up. I'm such a moron. Eat the stupid peanuts. Dude, I... I stood behind that knowledge like I do, like, my knowledge of the 49ers, where I was like, well, I know it happened, so I watched it. It can't happen. Dude, I could have I'm murdered. I'm so confident with I that. I could have murdered Carla if I just ground, ground up almonds into, like, a, a dust yeah. and poured them in her mouth at night. I could have just murdered her. <laughs> That's how bad allergies can be. And he was so good. Yo, bro. Deathly allergic to cilantro. It goes, I bet you are hand job. Yeah. Well, someone's getting extra cilantro. They go, no cilantro they go, guacamole. Hey, Dan, what's up with the uh, table 312's order? I go, yeah, dump all the cilantro you want. That guy's a real knob. <laughs> he goes, hey, uh, you, uh, hey, sir. <laughs> hey, douchebag. Uh, 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 where's the cilantro? I'm going close enough. Yeah, sure, buddy. I'm going to get some chips for another table. I'll be right back. Uh, my uncle, uh, give me a scalpel or a pen. i got to make a tracheotomy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do a field dressing right oh, here. I can't breathe. No, 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 not at the table. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. He was murdering people. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, Del, there's the cilantro. Oh, another one of these queefs that believes he's allergic dude, to cilantro. That is legitimately how I felt every time they said it. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. I'm still gonna send it. I'm still gonna cilantro. I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> I just want to apologize for anyone I've hurt with my careless cilantro. They're poison. gone. They're yeah. gone. You're Don't right. worry about it. Whatever you did, there's no epi. Is they're all going home in a car, like looking for an epi pen? Like I knew it was. I said it was stupid to, to not carry an epi pen. And now, god damn it, I need that more than. <laughs> <laughs> I made sure I went through every dish. The guy said there was no cilantro in it. Uh, I I remember doing a. Um, we did a private event. It's not even their fault. It's their parents' fault for giving them this allergy. We w- um, but we were doing a private event, and we had, like, empanadas, and one of them was shrimp and one of them was chicken, and I didn't know which I took. And I was walking around. The guy goes, ooh, empanadas. Are these, what are these? I go, they're chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes, okay, because I have a shellfish allergy, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm so new at work. You want to break that thing open? I go, well, let's see. I'll be honest. I can't even touch it. Yeah. Thank you. He goes, but I love chicken more than anything. And he bit in. He bit half of it, and it was like my heart was in my throat. And he goes, oh, this is good. Look at. And he like showed me it was chicken. I was like, ha ha. Oh well. 
you just signed my death certificate. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah, you must hate me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to die. He's mushing it on my face. Mm. Oh, <laughs> guess someone judged you, judge and jury. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't know I was going to be face-to-face with death, and I didn't know he was a low-level waiter at a Mexican restaurant. Oh, what's this actually filled with? Let me see. Is that chicken? No, it's the Grim Reapers coming to visit with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I was a fucking terrible waiter. I should have never been. They should have never hired me. Uh, yeah, for so long. It's weird to think of yourself as much as a good waiter as you do. If you look back on anything you think you did a pretty good job at, though, when you were young, you probably did a terrible job. I've described myself growing up as, like, what a tremendous babysitter I was for my brother and sisters. Yeah. They were so young, and I was young. And I'm like, I go, how do people have to wait so long to babysit? Like, I was babysitting when I was 11. Yeah. 11, tw- you know, through being 11, through like 21 or something, yeah. you know? Uh, pretty much that was my job at most points. My parents worked a lot. But looking back. Babies, and, I, and I look back, I'm like, what a horrible. I was, like, abusive, for sure. Uh, dismissive, to say the least. Yeah. Uh, downright just, like, like a deadbeat. Like, it was terrible. If they were paying me as a babysitter who wasn't their brother. Yeah. From uh, parents, I, I would be brought up on charges. Uh, <laughs> but because it's like your brother, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so you looked back fondly like, ah, I raised For, them. I mean, it, like, not far removed from it, I was kind of like, and by the way, I there was plenty of great stuff. I'm just saying, like, I was a dipshit teenager, too. So yeah. I did some pretty fucking weird things. Like, Who has that joke? Oh, I'd like, say we'd lock my brother in a closet until he would yell the N-word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, for no reason. It just didn't mean anything. And by the way, uh, more black friends probably there than not. <laughs> like, yeah. it had nothing to do with it. Like, the head of it all was just like, that'd be funny. It, just make him say it. And then you have one of my friends get fake angry at him. That's the weirdest thing is being on the complete opposite end of it where I was completely alone. So when I started staying at home, I felt like a uh, like an odd billionaire. Because I, just, I just felt like a weirdo. I was just by myself. And I'd be like, well, of course I'll eat brownies naked. <laughs> just like, but I'm just like 11 and I'm just like, I'm by myself. This is this whole house is mine until 5 o'clock. Dude, what I The had, second the garage would kick, it would terrify me. Dude, when I got babysitters when I was younger, like they would always be like, they were horrible to me. Always. Really? Oh, yeah, it was just young people. Just do weed. They'd like, just like... They just grab a bunch of like stuff from like my grandmother's like pantry or cupboard, or whatever, and like mix them in a thing and like microwave it, and then like make like they like give, tell me eat. I'd be awesome if I ate it, like that, that kind of shit. That's I'm like, so funny. okay. I never did stuff like that to my brother or sisters. I did a. Uh, oh yeah, I remember. There was Darlene. She was so hot to me. She seemed hot. From Roseanne? No, <laughs> uh, but her. She would have her boyfriend come over and his friends, and they would literally do like the. That's why I learned. I think I learned the hard way. The fifty-two card pickup. Oh, yeah, you, you want to play fifty-two pickup? card pickup? I mean, but I mean, they really I mean, oh, they deck so me in the fun. face with a deck of cards. Yes. It's funny when you pair back, when you look back to like being a young kid babysat, like the to the bad shit they were doing. Yeah, because I learned about Guns and Roses because I'm pretty sure my babysitter and her boyfriend were smoking weed in my garage. Because they were listening to With Guns N' Roses. Axel Slash. Doc wasn't there. Dogs there. Dogs are there. Um, but I went out in the garage, and she was like, open the side door real quick. And I was like, we're just hanging out. And I was like, oh, what do you guys... And then they were like, this is Guns N' Roses. And I was a kid, and I was just like, oh, okay. And I'm looking back, I'm like, you guys are getting fucking high in the garage. <laughs> For you, Angie. Oh, a nice fucking reflection. Yeah, my sister says that I uh, would hang her what like over by like her ankles like over the banister of like the stairs and i'm like hmm, that seems but in like a fun way that seems uh like a few law violations in, in hindsight especially as a father <laughs> like and i'm like did i do possibly do that maybe but she might be remembering that a bit dramatic tell me dude this is all choke jerk yeah yeah might as well jerk off be getting choked out might as well. <laughs> I mean, the words ring true. I like the lyrics. I hear them back to myself. Yeah. I, I'm trying to think of what other jobs that I ever thought I was good at, and I never was good at any of my jobs. I was a shitty pizza delivery guy. I was horrible at delivering newspapers. I, I would, would just try to throw them out. And, I then I, a, and then I found out, when I would do that with, like, those little tiny thin newspapers, that you, you almost like, you know, you throw them on as long as you got rid of them on yeah. the front end. We used to throw those out a lot just to get rid of the bundles. Yeah. But... Then uh, when I got an actual paper route, and you realize people pay How old for, were you? How old were you? People pay for the paper, and I would fuck that off. And then people would be like, oh, you actually got in trouble for that. How old were you when you got a paper route? Um, I, don't, yeah, I don't know. Maybe like 12, 13. Okay. 
That's I mean that's yeah, yeah. that's what did it pay? I never had a paper route. I was always interested. I don't. In I don't think I ever collected once. I hated it immediately. I didn't like. I didn't like, show up and were like. Fuck I didn't this. like doing any. I wanted to play with my. I was so responsible for other kids. So yeah. early. that is one thing that was true. No matter what, I was very responsible for them. Yeah. That like I didn't get to. My life wasn't like a a lot. When I was young, young it was, but it wasn't a lot of like. After like eleven years old, I didn't have a lot of like my come home and go play with my friends. Like always, so there's a lot of days there were stuff to. There'd be phases like a year, like a whole school year, where my mom would have a job one direction that was only on weekends. Yeah. So after school, I really had a, the the thing of like the free reign of like, yeah, we're gonna go play basketball from till nighttime. Ugh. But then my weekend would be like it was the trade was either that. How are kids I was either, up I was, with... I was either weekends. My weekends were either like sixteen hours a day, both days. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, my parents would work, and I would watch the kids from morning till they go to bed. Yeah, and then uh, and then on the weekdays, I'd have nothing. Or several weekdays, I had them after school till late night, and then the weekends, my weekends would be free. But it was always one of those two things. Really, it was from one like of the eleven other? to like I started comedy. When I was nineteen, and then it came a little more like that's fucking crazy. my brother. I guess I never realized it because my schedule was just basically anything like. So, you know. And when I was 19, I still babysat them. But I started comedy, and I did have to, like, growing up, spread my wings to some degree. Even just the way you're describing that, though, like, go play basketball till dark. Now with your cell phone, mm-hmm. it's like, no one just fucking goes. You can just check in. You're like, hey, I'm going to go do this. I'll be back tonight. Well, we'll talk, we'll talk about this more. Uh, or we did talk about oh, That's what I mean. Yes, I mean we did talk about this uh, this week. There you go. In the future to us now, but, <laughs> but, yeah, but from before. But before, but then Sarah Connor and then fucked Kyle Reese. Kyle Reese. And but then, John Connor had to be born. Yes. For, for first. That. Yes. For Kyle Reese to be sent back. But in order for John Connor to be born and become the man he is, Skynet had to become aware. We're all aware of this. Uh, sorry, is it not Jaws talk? We're not talking USS but, uh, Indianapolis? <laughs> but I'm super... Oh, hey, look. A major inconvenience. we got to pull an old ship out of the ocean. I'm when su- they found it, they're like, fuck. Pick it up. <laughs> and send it. I'm still going to send it. Um, I'm, you know, now that I'm very into bike culture... Oh, dude! Oh, God damn it! We can't talk about this no. right now. But so then, but we were just saying it just comes up to me and Christine were saying about what, what you're saying is that my daughter. I never. I feel like a bad father because I never told her to ride a bike. She has no idea how to ride a bike at all. Like but if she also, got on, she'd fall. Yes, but also, she never really came to me. Like she got a bike one time as like part of like a promotional thing. Tito's vodka. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was weird. I forget what it was, but everyone got a bike in like some thing she did. Uh, I don't know, it was like a school thing she did well on or something, but she got a bike and she, and like, but she never really was kidding. He was like, Dad, today, can you teach me to ride a bike? Dad, today. So it's like, I also didn't go, I think it's necessary to ride a bike, but she didn't, it wasn't very necessary. I think you can, But when I was a kid, it was like, you'd care about getting to learn how to ride a bike as fast as you want to learn how to like drive a car. When it was you your like first license. 16, you're like, fuck, man, this is like me. T- I, can, I can go places further out. Like, Yeah, I... Hell yeah, and mm. faster, and like whatever, you know <laughs> well, what I mean? Like, this is something we never talked... Have we ever talked about the fact that my mom fucking used to flip out when she was trying to teach me how to ride a bike, and I gave up on it and taught myself? I just taught myself how to ride a bike? You did, yeah. So, uh, we, we talked you, about you, it? You told me that you... That you but I've never to told you... Yeah, so, so like... So I didn't grand, re- my grandfather taught me. He was great. But when you look Patience. back at it, no, my mom was the least. I mean, we laugh about it now because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like it was so bad. That's how I would be. I'd, I'm a terrible teacher. Uh, <laughs> but my mom, I, I don't realize it, but at the time she's going through a divorce. She's bankrupt. And then her kid's also like, teach me how to ride a bike. And she's like, <laughs> ah, yeah, all right. And so she would like, I just couldn't get it. I would like, I would like lock up and get the yips and be like, ah. I'm like, fall over. And she was just like, fucking learn how to do it. And I'm like, stop yelling at me. It, just, it was a disaster. Put you didn't do your training fucking wheels? feet on the fucking pedals. Yeah. I did training wheels, yeah. But, but you don't take them off yourself. No, I'm saying you didn't do training wheels? I don't remember doing training wheels. Uh, maybe I did. Because that, it was basically that's what like. I, that's when your mom, before your mom took you out, she would lick salt. Yeah, <laughs> bite a lime and she'd then take you out for a bike ride. She'd do a shot. She'd be like, <laughs> "Let's go teach this idiot." <laughs> let's, go, uh, let's go, dopey. She goes, "All right, that fucking head really is weighing you down." But then I got a scooter from one of my friends, and I was just like, "I was the scooter kid." Wow, but, I never liked the scooter kid. But then, <laughs> no. But then I learned. That's how I learned how to ride a bike. With after like three weeks of riding a scooter, I just got on a bike and could ride it. 
You just learned the balance? Yeah. I just learned how to really? balance. Yeah. Interesting. So I don't know. It was like, I immediately got on a bike. I was like, well, oh, cool. I got it. I remember like freaking out because I got, because I was like, we were at the park and I picked up my friend's bike. I was like, hey, what if I rode it and I rode it into the grass and I just kept riding it and then I rode it back on the sidewalk. I'm like, I'm riding a bike. <laughs> like out of nowhere. And then I like went home and told my mom and I think it kind of like pissed her off because I was like, I taught myself how to ride a bike. And she's like, ah, shit. Like, just, oh. <laughs> Mr. Fucking Big Shot thinks yeah. he's a big man, right? <laughs> <laughs> she's fucking Dwight from this boy's life. Oh, fancy ass. Teach himself how to ride a bike. You think you're so good? I have to go out and work all day. Yeah. Um, but that was that was the predecessor when I got the... That's how we got to fucking dildo bike. Because Your mom I had, had a predecessor? No, but I'm saying that that was the story that oh, led us to dildo bike. Predator. When you were saying I was going to be very excited. I'm like, your mom's got laser vision and, mouth was, op- and a four-point mouth opening? You, it, I'm like, I would have people over, but I'm not sure my mom's home or not. <laughs> she could be home. Also, the walls are moving a little bit because I think she's in her cloaking <laughs> device mode. <laughs> she was a folk singer. <laughs> Yeah, the dish, everybody. Uh, we'll, we'll take our first break. God knows what's going to be happening before we come back. Know. Another eclipse? God only knows. God only knows. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, God. Okay. It's one of my favorite songs to watch drunk people sing. Because yeah, they just... Right. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, welcome back, everybody. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95, Big Jokers and Dan Soder. Uh, you were saying this song brings up memories for you. Yeah, I the first time I ever heard this song I, was when I was busting tables when I was like 13 at that uh, Mexican restaurant, and I didn't know what that sniffing noise was. What was, was it? it was Lou doing... Oh, Coke... He had, sniffing. He's so good. He had. I really. I effects. swear to you. I looked around the room. And be yeah. like, Who the fuck was that? Who's on mic? He's sniffling. But this, uh, like, one of the hot girls that worked at the restaurant, the shitty restaurant that I worked at. Cokehead. She, well, she was a college student. Oh, and she was okay. So she was walking around, and I heard this song, and she walks in the kitchen, and she goes, well, this is definitely not about me. And you're like, oh, uh-huh. you're a fucking animal, huh? You'd be saying more, this is about me. Yeah, you're like, oh, you should just be like, this is about me. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get sucked off yeah. in the back of the room, give me cocaine. Bow, now, now, now. If you're 13 and you have cash in your pocket, I want cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> um, it's always like, but I didn't understand what that was. I mean, I knew I was 13, so I wasn't like, cocaine. Okay. You ever see blow around you? And then like this girl's like talking about it. And I was like, oh, that's why people do it. Because hot chicks like her do it. Have you done it before? Smoked it once. That's what I'm story. Yeah, th- but you never sniffed it before? No. Um, never what, sniffed it. What a... Yeah. Dude, hang on. But I think it's the funniest... Soda? You guys uh, doing something neat or something, man? I went to college with a bunch of people who did blow, and once you saw them start doing it, and you could see what the things they were doing, mm-hmm. like the jaw movement. What was the, the uh, What was the first time you saw it, like, presented? Uh, high school. At a high school house party. Oh, really? It's, uh Two That's of my friends young. were yeah. Two of my friends were doing it in the bathroom. Wow. One of my friends thought he was ODing and came to my house, and we had to call an ambulance. My mom was out of town. My friend thought he was ODing and came on my house. Yeah, he, he <laughs> jizzed on your house, right on my house, dude. He goes, dude, I'm ODing. I got to get this cum out of me. And I was like, dude, this is a. <laughs> <there's> ah, a <laughs> We go, there's one of those housing, uh, oh, homeowners, covenant, it's a covenant it's a homeowners community. thing, so you can't change, you can't get jizz on the, everyone's, uh, siding has to be the same. <laughs> Dude, there's no salesman, there's, there's no a homeowner s- association. Yeah, there's no door-to-door sales, and you can't come on the houses. <laughs> You're gonna get us booted off you the block. You cannot change the size of the patio. <laughs> yeah. No basketball beautiful. hoops without their approval, and you can't come on the house. You cannot come on the house. But he showed up and was like, uh. I'm coming on this house. I'm gonna come. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't want to know how I rang that doorbell. <laughs> he uh, he showed up and his lips were all white and his pupils were shot and he's like, dude, I'm having a heart attack. You gotta call the ambulance. I'm having a heart attack. And my friend Brian, who's a marijuana lawyer now and who is the one that provided the cocaine, he walks in. And he goes, he's not having a heart attack. He barely did a gram. Uh, and, that's all and you're like, uh, that's a good amount of fucking blow for a teenager. He's fine, you poons. Yeah, and then we had to call the ambulance, and his mom hated me. And then she <laughs> called me over, and she's like, "Did 
was Adam doing cocaine at your house? I'm like, no, he showed up. By the way, I had two friends. We I were picturing p- little Dan. Little Dan though had like the little the long pinky nail. <laughs> he had the pimp coke nail. Uh, I'm in a, uh, what's up, bitches? I'm in a silk robe when she comes over. I go, I'm sorry, your son doesn't know how to party. Uh, and, you, and you call it sniff and go, oh, I'm going to go sniff some cocaine. <laughs> you girls want to sniff some cocaine with old daddy? Uh, hey, you fat bitches want to come sniff some cocaine <laughs> with, the, with the big head of Aurora? Come on, Aurora. Any old dumping fat boots want to come sniff a little cocaine with that man? <laughs> I got a, I got my room is just made of pillow. <laughs> Why don't we come fuck in my cocaine room? My cocaine. Uh, you ever get finger blasted under a velvet Elvis Costello? <laughs> yeah. I've got a black light poster that says... Take me to your dealer. Come do some cocaine. You want to, do some, you want to come do some cocaine? Cocaine. Oh, I'm sorry, Lynn. I'm sorry your son doesn't know how to pate. <laughs> he fucking up my whole vibe. Get I've been watching, out of here. I've been watching a lot of intervention. It's, I've been this really... This shit's so sad, though. It's great, though. It's great. One recently, the girl ran away right in the middle of it. I like when they run away in the middle of it. Uh, wait, when they're reading the letters? Because the, when they no, break no, out no, on no, the letters. No, when they run away from the actual, when they're like, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go. And then they go, and it shows them on the plane looking out a window. Uh, then it shows them at the place. They're taking them in. It goes, you're making a great decision. They're like, I know. I know. And then it's, it's like. It's hard. And then it's like, after 26 days, Lauren ran away from yeah. <laughs> her She's still in the woods. Her boyfriend, Keith, a yeah, man. It's always a or something. Yeah. Yeah. That Circle K picked her up a mile off the campus. One of them was like, Amber and her boyfriend just like to smoke, crack, and argue. I'm like, that sounds great. Yeah. Oh, man, if you Super- commit to that Circle... And by the way, it is crack arguments, too. She's like, at one point, she just goes, you fucking... And they're bleeping it. Yeah. They're showing, like, the dashes for the amount of words. So she basically goes, you fucking crew cut, fucking stupid... Wolf. Like, he starts saying, like, just, like, random words. It's the uh, funniest goddamn thing. In those arguments, I always like watching the guy because he gets over-emotional than the girl in a drug argument where he's like, I give you my heart! I give you my heart! And this is what you do! So I say, I'm going to make you my wife, and this is what you do. And I say, I just need eight years to get my shit together. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? <laughs> and then there's a fucking pot marked up. These are a bunch of fucking the sores. Sa- the sad is when they really give you, though, like, why they can't go, when they're just honest about it. They're like, so you'd have to go today. They're like, I can't. I love heroin so much. <laughs> At least they're honest. The girl yesterday lost three kids, and she's estranged from the other one. Three of them in the same house. She she was asleep. She got taken out by smoke inhalation, bad electrical wiring, and a ceiling fan. Yeah. House catches on fire, kills three of her four kids, and leaves her, like, with her back all fucked up. Like, she, like. She burnt. fell on top of her, yeah, burnt, and all that shit too, and uh, and she just joined. And, and it was so funny. It's the only episode I've ever seen where everyone's kind of like, "Look, I get it." <laughs> like everyone's like, "I get," it. but yeah. now you got to stop though, for real. Yeah. Like, but I totally get it. it. It's so funny. If you want a fucking drug problem, you just have to kill your own kids, and you're like, "Can I? Can I get fucked up now?" And they're like, "Yeah, I mean, yeah." yeah but... it's like, it's like, Are you doing crack? Because I tried it like twice, but why? It's like you got to stop. There is no reason to do that. You just come out and goes. Yeah. Keith dead. Yeah, <laughs> hold, your ba- hold your boys. He goes, now can oh I again? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. That's the permission slip. The- Why is his head off? You need a dead kid permission slip to do heavy drugs. <laughs> you go, and I lost him. And I'm like, yeah, dude, here, where's a vein? I'll help you find a vein. Give me your forearm. Where, where are we looking for? When that's Blue. over, it's like, it's good because now that I'm sober, it gives me a lot of time to think about my three dead children. Yeah, you're like, oh. sober mind. I'm like, just do crack. Yeah, just go down. Just chase that. That hole all the way down. Yeah, just go with it. Why can't we the just other give... kids go? You're never going to be any good to that other kid. Listen, that other kid is going to be e- either dead just like you or super successful. Or super pulled together. And pull it It'll together. all be in spite of her either way. So get high, relax. It's like telling someone to relax. Fucking get Her name's Dana. Up. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. Dana's a great, I used to be really hot and have my shit together. Now I'm a mess name. Started getting, started cracking out kids young. Yeah. She really was into the kids. Of course. And then, you know, they died. Yeah. Then she got Manchester by the seed. Then God sorted that out. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. God hit the reset button on her choices. One of her kids' name was Nathaniel. I'm like, oh. what are you, fucking Amish? Yeah, but also what a perfect, Nathaniel. what a perfect die in a fire name. Yes. Nathaniel was a good boy. Yeah. Oh, 
Are we holding the flame? What happened? He goes, really? You mean his buckled shoe and velvet school suit weren't flame retardant? <laughs> Nathaniel, you jag off. Why don't you wake wear a fucking, uh, like one of those shoelace ties? It's also a perfect name to say, the flames consumed Nathaniel. <laughs> <laughs> and his cousin, while well, his cousin Ezekiel <laughs> yeah, yeah. was knocking at the door. Oh, if only Jedediah had known when he walked to the, <laughs> to the barn that day, <laughs> that all of them would have been in- engulfed by flames. <laughs> the orange monster consumed the rest of the house. Ah, some call fire God's kiss. Some yes, call it a must scorn. Have angered. Yeah. We must have angered the God. Ah, we must learn our biblical verses better or else the Lord will touch down with his fiery finger. Nathaniel. She was a young mom, too. Who the fuck's name of her kid's Bible names? Someone that's setting up a kid to die. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She goes, she goes, anyway, I'm just going to put on the goes, goes, guys, I know the uh, ceiling fan's been sparking, but <laughs> I like that air circulation. You know, I it's, think it, it's risk versus reward, guys. Yeah, listen, I know we're kind of, we're, we're really risking things, but because that thing is moving. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, when I go, when it's off, I touch it, the whole thing's hot. <laughs> the whole thing is really hot. I don't mean to final destination this living room. But, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, we can cheat death, deal with it later. I don't know. How much do you hate to sweat? Guys, before, <laughs> hey guys, before I just unplug the ceiling fan all together, do me a favor. Let's all take a picture together so we can see the order in which we're going to die. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's let's see if anybody got a Polaroid. I want to see if we evaporated the picture quickly. <laughs> yeah. Like we are cheating again. Well, look at this. I don't know. If you look at this picture, me and Dan. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's happening. Where's, where's Dan in this picture? Hold on, Jay. I just got to plug in this hair dryer. <laughs> yeah, he goes, he goes, oh, man. He goes, I swear to God, standing in a wet shower. He goes, but I hate having my arms wet. Yeah, I'm going to blow dry him while I take a shower. Dan, no! So, ah! Dude, if we all, if the bonfire cast got, if we all got fucking Final Destination. Sorry, Lou, too, but you know how horror movies work. <laughs> and you have to be the first to go. But you, but in fairness, you will be the one to warn us not to get mixed up in this kind of nonsense in the first place. That is true. You guys crazy messing with those things you don't know about. Christine, I hate to say it, but prepare to be bloodied running down a highway surviving. But your tits will be out. Yep. So that's good news. Lou's going to go out the fun way where he's going to crank a beer and listen to Fog Hat and be like, ain't nothing coming for me. He's the guy. You think he's the guy probably also like fucking a chick? <laughs> yeah. In a trailer? Oh, no, no, no. Are you kidding me? It's like a... Uh, Jacob is going to be the one that goes because he's going to be like, I don't know if we should do this. Because no, he's going to be the opposite. I thought Jacob was like the friendly guy who like cares about the girl that Lou's fucking, and then Lou gets killed with the girl fucking. And then he goes to the check-in order. He goes, Sarah, I'm sorry I snapped earlier. I know we're friends. And he, Oh, God. Oh, it's right through his head. Amber's. Oh, Lou. Oh, oh, God, Amber. Oh, God, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> oh, i got to throw up just cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy, I'm the one that dies saying something snarky and something falls on me. I go, yeah, right, Jay. Like, there's any chance that, and then you hear like the you know metal when metal breaks those metal wires. Where it's like, poing, poing, poing. I'm like, yeah, Jay. What are you gonna tell me? It's standing out here right now. I'm really gonna get hurt. Then you just hear. I used, to, I used to have a joke about that. Yeah. But I'm like, why I, those movies? Yeah, I only did it. I did it for a short amount of time. But I think I just watched one of the, the last Final Destinations because it was based off of that completely. Go and those new horror movies. Like somebody always seems to figure out what's going on, and then when they go tell people who've already lost several of their friends, yeah. and probably thinking there should be some explanation for this. <laughs> yeah. When somebody goes, goes, guys, this is going to sound a little crazy, but they're like, get the fuck out of my face, man. Yes. I'm at work right now. That's so they're funny. Like, I think we're dying in the order that we die. If you notice, like, we are actually dying in this order right there. He goes, dude, get the fuck away from it. Like, why are they always so mad at the person explaining? And then they always die. Yeah. It would be better if they were had... If- oh, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. So I got to watch my step. So this nail gun that I know isn't loaded... Run the plank. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing, it would be funnier to have, it, with the anger, also someone that was passive and, like, uh, they were busy at work. So when they called them, they go, what? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, cool. We're all dying in that order. Well, my yeah. next, or am I next? There's still, okay, because I got to call. Uh, Stephen Gordon first? Yeah. All right, well, there you go. Yeah, fine. Call Steve. Why are you calling me? All right, I'll see you later. Wait, Steve and Gordon are doing what? They're tightrope walking with no net today? Why did you call no! them? <laughs> Why did you? You didn't tell me they were going to the mountain lion petting zoo. <laughs> That's such a dumb idea. They're going bare knuckle coyote <laughs> hunting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Why are they taking fireball dancing lessons? <laughs> we should know that. What do you? Why did you call them first? 
years. Are they taking I work a, at an insurance agency. Are they going taking a mystical razor blade swallowing seminar? Yeah. That can't be real. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're going to take an alligator bath, and you didn't call them. <laughs> Uh, they're just doing it, man. <laughs> just, I, they got it for their anniversary, and they just really wanted to do it. <laughs> um, let's get to this fucking story that Lou Tu found. Lou Tu. Underage New Jersey party girl was discovered. Uh, she discovered that sleeping it off always. I always. Why do I start the articles with the first sentence? Because it's the fucking dumb New York Post. Trying to be like, well, some people realize that you don't want to wake up where you wake up. It's like that kind of that local news energy. They, they, let me, let after me, they finished in her can, she fell asleep in the can. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Yo, it's Jay Okerson, Trisha, Hi. Teresa Hippolito. I'm Dan Soder. An underage New Jersey party girl discovered that sleeping it off isn't always the answer. After druggedly passing out in the bathroom of a Lower East Side bar, she woke up Friday morning to find herself alone and locked inside the night spot. That's actually awesome. I've always wanted that when I was an alcoholic. Wake up in a bar? It happened to me once. I woke, I woke up at Laugh's Comedy Club in Tucson because we, like, partied there late. And I left. Everyone left. And I was sleeping in a booth that was, like, against the wall. And I woke up and I had a couple beers. And then I made some calls. It was great. You What? I woke up in the comedy club. No, no, I, I, I get what you're saying. Like, it was great? I poured a couple beers and smoked some cigarettes and I called the manager. I got fucking, I got a day buzz on. It was awesome. Seems like a weird, but you woke up like cruddy from the night before. Yeah, not a couple fat tires will knock off that dust. <laughs> I had a Jaeger Raider and a couple fat tires and smoked three camel lights, played some picture hunt, and called a fucking... A photo hunt. Yeah, photo Dirty hunt. kind? Uh, yes. Yeah, That's the adult the kind. And then I just fucking smoked cigarettes and waited for them to come open the door. So you had to tell them, like, hey, I'm stuck in here. How yeah. long did it take? Uh, about 90 minutes. Hour and a half. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. God, I wish I could find the old manager because she's the one that came. She was like my buddy. I wish they have security tape of what you did in there. Just like air guitaring in your underwear at one point. I'm on stage working like, yeah. jokes. I'm all, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They had lava. Yeah. I take one of the lava lamps. They used to have lava lamps on that stage. Yeah. Uh, Therese. Therese or is it Teresa? It looks like Therese. Uh, Therese. Therese. Let's just say she's Therese. Therese Hippolito, 20, of Flemington, New Jersey. Oh, can be heard shouting from behind the roll-down gate. At Bosch Tweeds on Essex and Delancey. Well, I was right by my house. On, at 9.20 in the morning, which means she was screaming at people going to work. She woke up in the bathroom. Everyone, uh, this, now, when I spoke to Lutu about this, he said the, it seems like she was fucked, like, like she got laid or something in there. Yeah. But uh, do you think so, Lou? Is that what you're reading in this? It just seems like she passed out like a drunk idiot. Yeah, but why else would you be number one underage in there? And number two, to just fuck in, in, the, the club? in the bathroom, falling asleep. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly why. Because women have no idea how to drink alcohol. Oh, yeah. They're born retarded, <laughs> and they don't know how to. They have no mechanism that says this is where you should not do this. Because you cause probably shouldn't go to sleep in the bathroom of a club. You know what? Fuck this chick. Cause she's gonna get so many people at this bar in trouble. Yep. Because she's a fucking moron, and she got drunk and fell asleep. If I just sit down in the toilet for a little bit, I, I, I don't want to go anywhere. Hillary, I'm fine in here. Just go. Just go. And then she wakes up, and she's like, why am I in the bathroom? This is so gross. And I'm, I'm smoking a butt. I go, hi, Dan Sutter, professional so, sleep in her. I passed out, too. Yeah. What's going on? I will say, though, I've closed a lot of... Uh, like restaurants in my life and I've never not checked the bathrooms before I've locked up. So, I mean, there, there is something that went wrong here. Do you think the guy was like, hey, oh, yeah. suck on that Lower East Side bar, popular night spot. Boss Tweeds. On Essex and Delancey. Boss Tweeds. Yeah, Boss Tweeds. Like yeah, this. they don't give a shit. Yeah, it really yeah. actually is much more of a stain on Boss Tweeds for not checking the bathroom. You go, she goes, I shit with my feet up like a gargoyle. Yeah. I like to push as I'm pushing. <laughs> I like to do leg presses as I'm forcing my butt hole open. I don't have a squatty potty, so I have to stand on the edge of the seat. Oh, how have you? You never ba you never ninja shit it? <laughs> Were you completely hiding your legs? She goes, she goes, will you put your palms and feet on the four points of the stall and just let it fall out of you? It You've takes, never done that. It takes physical and mental discipline. <laughs> you wouldn't understand that because you don't fucking know ninjas. Get the fuck out of my face. Why am I waking up here? 
I hate you about tweets. I just want to go back to my place. I hate boss tweets so much, so hard. So much, I have to go back to my dojo. <laughs> you have learned final step in ninja process. How to poop. Oh, you get to very sweepy when you get to these crubs. We call it sky eardrop. <laughs> sky teardrop. It look like poop fall out of sky. She was a little upset. A police source said, yeah, I bet. She nodded off on the floor of the bar's restroom sometime before workers closed up at 4 a.m. I would think that they would clean the whole place at night before they close. It's terrifying. Said Shirley Yee. She's sort of right. A 21-year-old nerd. It's terrifying. They, it's terrifying they don't clean the bathroom. Who gives a fuck? What, do they have a picture of her up here? Yeah, dude. She, she looks like a chick that just raised hell. Go to the top. Oh, where was the picture? Oh, keep going. There she is. Go down a little. Oh, that's fucked. There's a better picture. Go down. I don't even know what happened. Right there. Oh, By that's the, the best one. By the way, this chick's a fucking rough 20. Yeah. She got she got Lindsay Lohan mileage on her. And now she's going to do her drink with Spiked. God damn it. Ain't that a bitch. Look at the guy behind her just taking pictures. Mm -hmm. We are fucking idiots. It's These impossible phones. that I'm 20 and don't know how to drink. Probably another person did something to me. Yeah, I didn't do too many shots and didn't gauge. You always have to have those nights where you try to catch up with your friends and overshoot the mark. And then you pass out, and you throw up, and then you get up, you know? I mean, Call the cops. Call have, the cops. Give yourself a couple of fat tires, rip some camel lights. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> I'll tell you this. You know what's odd? That's the only story I've told about drinking that makes me miss drinking. <laughs> Just to wake up and be like, fuck it, I'll rip it. So it was like 9.45 in the morning. And I just had a couple. I was like, yeah, fuck it. Looks like I'm not getting done to anything today. <laughs> and you were like smoking in that club. Oh, it was, you could still smoke inside in Tucson. That's great. Yeah. Wow, this is a song I used to listen to She's all the time. Student. It's weird that you're playing this because I used to listen to this song all the time when I lived in two, Ooh, like, yeah. at that moment. Whatever happened. Got real last... in the muddy waters. I like, whatever happened last night, I'm not that kind of person. Like, whatever happened last night, I'm not that exactly kind of It's exactly the kind of person you are. Yeah. You're a dummy that doesn't know how to drink. From Flemington, New Jersey. Ugh. She goes, I was, listen, when I grew up in Flemington, there was bars, they cleaned the bathrooms. She goes, uh, uh. <laughs> It's her blue song. One time I woke up. <laughs> I was really scared. The bar had closed. And I was still just really scared, help me. <laughs> I don't want to make it rhyme, I'm scared. Fucking come get me. What's the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> What's the Wi-Fi password? Is the new man is for? <laughs> oh! Oh, you dropped all your papers. Oh. I mean, she definitely. Here's what happened. She was embarrassed, so she called the cops, or she called the cops because she was mad. Then she was embarrassed. Then she tried to blame it on a spike drink. It is, but it is Boss Swedes' fault for not cleaning out the bathroom. The it Lower is, East Side. It is her fault. It, it really, really sucks. sucks. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Oh, Johnny Dangerously. Oh, Johnny Dangerously. Speaking of uh, her night behind bars, she said, it's not really me. It's like so. And speaking of her night behind the bars bars, she said, it's not really, it's really not like me. It's so inappropriate and trashy. <laughs> what, to drink at a bar? No, I, I, only, I only know she feels that way because the night before, said a page, said one patron, she said that in his face 75,000 times. Yeah. This isn't even like me normally. This is trashy. You're fucking so I'm gonna rude. Fucking, so I'm gonna fucking go to the bathroom and have a shit and a nap. You and I'll up. fucking come out and you'll see you cocksucker. You are literally trash. You are trash and now I'm going to go poop when I'm sitting on the sink. She walks up to the first manager or bounces. She goes, just so you know, this fucking club lets in assholes. Yeah. Now, good luck finding me. Hide and seek time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, ollie ollie oxen for you pussies. <laughs> ollie ollie oxen. Grab whatever I'm, you want, baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Teresa Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Hippopotamolopolis. I'm New Jersey's top hide and seek player. <laughs> Maybe you fucking heard of me. Maybe you know me or my dad. Roger Hippopotamus. <laughs> Hippopotamolopolis. Maybe she's funny. Samoan? I love the fact that they didn't see her. No. She's, she's not like there. Ronnie Hapalaka. <laughs> no, it's uh, a Taylor Hippolyta. or something, like Hippolito or something like that, right? So, yeah, Hippolito. Actually, it looks kind of Hispanic, though, if I had to guess, which would make her stupider. I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, yeah, Hippolito. I mean, she looks sort of Hispanic of some sort. 
But that could be that dumb Jersey Italian, though, too. Yo, Therese Hippolito, what oh, happened? Oh, there she is. Oh, yeah. She's, oh, she could be yeah, a... come on. Fuck this chick. This isn't who you are? Sure. I don't go to bars. I'm in libraries all the time. So let me get this straight, miss. You fell asleep and you're furious at this club. What if they couldn't see your feet when they were cleaning out at the end of the night because uh, when she passed out, her ass and back just went into the toilet bowl? And she's like, look like cartoon life. She's just kidding. All just like, like her head, hands, and feet are just kind of coming up. When she woke up in the morning, she had to find the most amount of core strength she's ever used in her life. <laughs> she's like, Holding on, yeah, holding on to a glory hole in the, in the toilet paper roll. <laughs> she was, I was like Bane. I had to crawl out of there. <laughs> I hadn't seen light until I was sober. And by that, I found it blinding. The worst part is some asshole came in and flushed on my butthole and tried to suck me down the drain. Someone pooped, someone peed on my belly button because I'm stuck in there. You guys would have such a fucking lawsuit in your hands if I went in that fucking drain. If I was n- older than 20... <laughs> you just a lawsuit in your hand if I wasn't under here under false pretenses. I would love to get her side of it, like just to hear the explanation, the dumb, dumb explanation of it. Of like, you get I phone. was drinking, <laughs> and then I wasn't drinking, and I was sleeping, and then I was waking up, and then I was mad, and then I was angry. Instagrammer, Christine, take a note. DM her. Dear dumb dumb. <laughs> uh, this J from the bonfire. Space. Space. <laughs> Your comma. Yeah. New paragraph. Just come on our show. Stop. Stop. The show is called Bonfire. Stop. Stop. Are you are you retarded? Stop. <laughs> you woke up in a bar. <laughs> Turn the dress. Stop. Stop. How did Was you your not... dress blue or gold? Stop. Stop. How did you not gr- grab beers out of the refrigerator once you wound up in a bar? <laughs> like, yeah. Stop. Send. Send. <laughs> and SOS. Go over there. Spell check. Send. <laughs> Um, Ippolito. Uh, yeah. The club is dumb, for sure. And it looks like it's one of those watering hole ship holes anyway. Yeah. But, it uh, is, it's one of those things where a guy, a, probably like a 26-year-old guy was like, I can, have you ever been to Tweeds, Boss Tweeds? It's fucking dope. Why don't we meet up there? We're going to have some shots, and then we'll fucking hang out. And then she was probably the loud friend that was, here's my guess on the night. Someone got fucked, and it was one of her friends, and that's why they were all there, and she was, like, the problem, where she was, like, drunk, and they were like, God, tell your friend to fucking chill out, you know? Like, oh, yeah, that's what it is? Yeah, they were drinking. So I was wondering why Black Lou thought that she got fucked in the bathroom. She got fucked in the bathroom, and then I just realized, he goes, he goes, oh, bitch pass out in the club. Bitch about to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's Lou rule number 42. <laughs> Do- uh, Doville comes in, goes na 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 na. Doville rule number fifty nine. <laughs> Find a girl sleeping, let a sleeping dog lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bitch gotta have at least one flickering eye open. <laughs> yeah, I give her the three arm count like Hulk Hogan when he used to get choked out. <laughs> <laughs> now, bitch, that's two. Next one, I'm putting <laughs> this dick away. <laughs> she hits the three. Huh. And then reaches, oh. up and grabs, reaches up and grabs the dick. Someone looking for it. Ah, that's why it's a rule. Yeah. Rule 59. Tobel rule 59. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, I guarantee her friend, some douchebag was hitting on her friend and got them into the bar, got them drunk, and she went and passed out. She was probably either the quiet one or the problem that once she disappeared, they're like, hey, dude, let's just get out of here. Your friend will be fine. My friend Topher is going to look after him. How about when you go... Who runs the bar and you get the call at nine thirty in the morning the next morning and they're like you gotta open the place I'm like, What? It's like why he goes he's just hung so up. So I off and goes, Ah oh, jeez. He goes, and she's also underage. Fuck me yeah. running. They go, Hey, hey, Rory, who closed last night? I'm like, I think Ashford. Oh. <laughs> and they're like, Yeah, cause uh, we just got a call from the cops. The place burned down? No, there's someone inside. There's someone inside the bar. And she's twenty. Oh, my Christ. Man. All right. Hold on. Me... Well, I'll be down there. George is going to get pissed because he's going to lose his license. He's going to yeah. take that uh, shit to run it downhill. He goes, oh, God damn it. We couldn't even get... I'm going to have to work my it. uncle again to 13th step. I'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God damn it. i got to go back to bubblegum shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I just got out of that fucking hell oh, hole. Oh, sucker. I just, oh. stopped... I just almost forgot the lyrics to all those Johnny Rocket songs. I, uh... Yeah, it's so funny to hear waiter talk, because really, waiter talk's always the same, where it's like, whenever, whenever you see another waiter, you're like, how was your shift last night? What'd you walk with last night? And it's like, you on a double? That's, that's how you say hello when you're in the service industry. He, uh, hey, what's up? I got a double? And someone's like, yeah, you're like, do you want to go get beers on break? 
<clears throat> and then usually they're like, in the weeds. Yeah, you in the weeds is a big one. You cool? You in the weeds? So I'm in the weeds. Waiter war stories are the dumbest things in the world when you really think about it. They go, so I had a six top section, right? Because by, think- by the way, it's the entire. If you've ever gone drinking with in your life, been like (laughs) afterwards, like, hey, maybe I'll fuck somebody on the staff here. Oh, the staff all goes across the street to a bar after this show. Let's do it. That's you hear all the time. He goes, so. But by the way, talking about stories, and you're like, uh, you're like, this happened tonight. You're like, no, this is when Michael Winslow was here like four months ago. So So this bitch comes in and she's like, like, she goes, she's comped, but she doesn't understand there's two drink minimums. And you gotta understand, like, I've got a nine top right now, and I also have the seven top that's a bachelor party, and they're fucking hammered. He starts doing crowd work, and it's like, I'm not gonna be able to drop the checks. And you're just like, I gotta go home. (laughs) <laughs> the last girl I hooked up with on the show. So, staff. you guys, they tell you guys not to fuck the comics here, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to split. Dude, the, uh, they tell you guys you're not allowed to do that? Okay, the, I'm going to take off. The last and one of the only times I've ever hooked up with a staff member, I was at the bar with all of them. Oh, staff members. I was say, you've hooked up with a lot of staffs. Yeah. <laughs> but staff members, that's different. What do you mean? It was a dick joke. Oh. Hmm. Anyways. Yeah, moment of silence for it. <laughs> she died on the vine. She was like, let's go out drinking with the staff. And I was like, all right. And I don't drink. So I'm just like hanging out. I'm like, this kind of sucks. And then they're having waiter talk. And I'm like, I put in a good 20 minutes. And then I was like, I, uh, I'm i going to go home. I got to fly out tomorrow. And then she was like, I'll go with you. And I'm like, okay. It's like, you know what? I think I'm going to split. It's like I can't get my boner to go down. It's getting a little embarrassing. Yeah, sorry. I and think by the I'm way, about I think to you come. check it out. It's so huge. Yeah, you're also like, all this waiter talk's making me about to come. <laughs> yeah, it's giving me a real rager. Yeah. And I got good stamina, like just enough. Like, yeah. Enough to eat that through. a girl enjoys herself, but not where she's like, oh, God, finish already. Yeah, it's kind of like, oh, go on about kind of what your dreams are while you're waiting tables, and I'll come. Yeah, let's come now. Let's take a break, and then we'll come right back. <laughs> oh, I got yeah. that one. I didn't get the staff one, but I got that one. Yeah. Um, Wait, what is it? Drop it low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drop it low. <laughs> <Wah. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the bonfire. Fuck yeah. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, we're doing yak music. Cocaine music on the bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM95. I'm Dan Soder, that's Big, Big J Okerson. Does he actually whisper cocaine at the end of that verse? I don't know, does he? I'm almost certain. Can you go back? Cocaine. Cocaine. I hear, I hear like a voice like, like say that. Cocaine. We've been doing drug music all day. Talking about drug stuff and then other stuff. Been doing drug music all, all week. Right here. That's not there. No. Nope. Look it up, Christine. Do they whisper the word cocaine in the song Snowboard at all? I'm pretty sure what will you hear? Cocaine. Beautiful people. Beautiful people usually do cocaine. Huh? Beautiful people do cocaine. It's never, yeah, I never, I never held the allure to me. Me neither. It never, it never seemed like I'm not beautiful enough. Is that what it is? No, but my I'm not thing good was always for cocaine. Uh, it was also like I used to spill food whenever I'd take it out of the kitchen or like uh, sodas. I'd always spill stuff. I always felt like the messy kid, and I feel like Coke is uh, it's too cool and clean and like it is very. It is like cool though in that sense. Like it's all, it's used by beautiful people. Cause yeah, you can use beautiful like squeaky words for it. Yeah. Like. Uh, Oh, like they, toot! You want to go do some? You want to go do a toot? No, you want to do room? a toot? And they have like it's all jewelry that's also cocaine accessible. Yeah, yeah, so a lot of bracelets ring. and rings with cocaine. Like, oh yeah! Don't forget oh, Dan's do coke like, nail. Oh, do you like her? She's uh, she's from Iceland. She likes you. Dan, can you mean you have a challenge, a coke nail challenge? A cocaine? I couldn't grow a coke nail. It bugged the fuck out of me. Dude, I have no nails, so yeah. if I commit to growing a coke nail, <laughs> how funny would that be? <laughs> but just for fun dip. <laughs> yeah, just like mm. Oh no, that's fun to baby. Oh, that's pixie baby. Ooh, this pixie stick. It's the butt stream quicker up here. Mm. Wanna go lay down in my pillow room? <laughs> you want a little tootsie baby? Tootsie as we have some cocaine. I think every drug I've ever taken can be the sounds like I'm the person who should be using it because it's all called dope. Dope. Some form of dope. Oh, you wanna do dope? 
Because uh, dope sp- covers, I'm pretty sure dope covers everything from like heroin to yeah to weed to weed to ah that's really it. I think heroin and weed are the only two. Under Opiates dope. probably. Yeah, dope or just like a sick ass wave is dope. It could Sometimes be dope. that could be. So it could be like marijuana, heroin, or waves. I think we I check saw, back I saw all those things today. If you want to find all those things, they're available on my bike ride today oh. to the uh, east side. What a lovely ride on the east side! It really is garbage over there. I was trying to I was trying to segue back into uh, Roman and Sierra. Oh, we video. will absolutely. I was going. How is Manhattan real estate though in that East Village, I don't in know. Alphabet City? How is that possible? That exists. What do you mean? They just can't run those people out, I guess, or something. It's just so ghetto over there. It's Manhattan. That's crazy. Oh, like Alphabet City? Yeah, it's waterfront property, and it's just what projects? Pro- not even projects. Like scary, like ghettoish people. Yes. Well, projects are city owned, aren't they? So it'd probably have to be like. I know that's like style. No, it's, it's like Section 8 housing and shit like that. Yeah, sure. so it's no, like through the government, so they can't just be like. But just there's still apartments all up and down those, you know, Avenue D and C. It's just a I'm blown away. Was that I'm blown away that just comes off of like some of the most expensive real estate. Were you riding your bike through the streets of the project being going, you shouldn't be here. This should be expensive real estate. Yeah, that's what I started doing. I started screaming, this is the white man's part of town. I go, it's closer to water. We like to sail. We're here to move the black cloud outward. To the burrows. Yeah, be like, who the fuck is this crazy guy on the bike? A little hungry mouth to feed in the ghetto. I mean, I've never been, but a friend told me about it. And a mother cried. Get him on more things he does need in a little hungry mouth to feed in the ghetto. You know, he just gave out some bossy orders where you're like, yes, king. You would call him a king. <laughs> he goes, hey, buddy, I thought I told you to have the Cadillac pulled up around, y'all. Sorry, king. Like, y'all fucking Elvis is pissed. That sucks. It's supposed, to be, a, it's supposed to be a marshmallow and peanut butter sandwich. It's just a peanut butter sandwich. It's, sorry, king. My bad. I thought that sounded like a ridiculous order, but it is what you yeah. wanted. Oh, you, you really did want a fried peanut butter and <laughs> banana <laughs> sandwich. You oxycotton freak. He was just on a bunch of pain pills. Oxycontin free king. There he goes. <laughs> also, I want to marry a 15 year old. <laughs> also, if it's cool, I will like to marry a little No girl. one said no to him, huh? Nobody. Not even fucking statutory laws. How old was Priscilla? What was the statutory there? laws? Are you a big Elvis fan? Because I feel like you're giving me eyes like I'm talking like about. He's like, I don't know what the fucking problem is. That guy <laughs> fell was, in love. You don't have kids. You can't decide you fall in love with. <laughs> Jake, he waited until she got legal. Oh, okay. But she, he started when he was like, how old are you? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's tender. Uh, six that's degrees separation. Very tender. Talk about how the sur- conversation's going. Your circles. mother's maiden name's Presley? Yeah. No, Priscilla <laughs> Presley was in. I just watched, told you I watched Ford Fairlane today. Oh, yeah. Priscilla Presley in Ford Fairlane. Still good at that point. I think it's bad now. Bring up Priscilla she Presley. Got, uh, botched pl- plastic surgery. Well, it's all botched if you do too much of it. Yeah. Well, this one was. Man, that really is the thing where you're like. Messed up. You, there's no escaping it. If you go down that hole. Yeah, I mean, she's getting like that, like, a, like that face where you're just like, what the fuck are you doing? Where she's like, I feel great. My tits. Oh, boy. Yeah. It looks her mouth touches her ears. <laughs> yeah. Priscilla Priscilla. Yeah, you get, those weird, you get those weird, stupid cheeks and stuff. But she was, she stayed hot for a long time. Just don't go cutting up your face. Stayed hot. Well into the 90s. Yeah. I mean, dude, she was hot in Naked Gun. She was hot in Naked Gun. When she was young, she was smoking hot. No, I, I think it's the opposite. When she right was there. Young, what about she all that? Stupid looking. She got hot like No, look at her putting the makeup 80s. on. Wow. Uh, she got a body that don't quit. And she's yeah, that's a pretty good picture right there. But there's a lot of them worth that. Do you think she got hot? I mean, she was slave to the uh, time she was in worth like the stupid beat. Yeah, all that dumb shit. Yeah, the fucking Elvira. Big font hair. Hey, Elvira hair. Get out of here. You running a haunted house? Do you think she got hey, girl, the king's queen needs more aquanet. I want your hair to be as tall as I want to reach. <laughs> I need you to be six foot seven with I your hair. Reach. And every boy of the old. And more. What's more than this? What's more than this? Excuse me. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is the best. Huh? Eddie Murphy. I remember seeing Eddie Murphy just being like, this guy's the fucking best. You don't mean that. Delirious? When I was like... Eight, right. nine, not now. You're saying Eddie Murphy's oh, the best? No, but I, like that brought me back to being like, isn't it crazy though to go? I watched. Like the, I think back and I'm like, I remember watching Delirious L on like uh, 
fucking free weekend of HBO. Really, or what you realize at that time is how lucky he was that that, <gasps> oh, that, no. that our specials and everything were so uh, rare, rare, or or just like you know, and his became so big because when I watch it, I'd say he's a pretty good nineteen-year-old comic. No, he's better than that. He's better than a pretty good nineteen-year-old comic. Eddie Murphy, Delirious. I mean, pretty good. He is pretty good. What do you mean? Like, it's really good. I think he's very good. Are you sure. Saying, are you saying it doesn't hold up now it that you watch it? It doesn't hold up, but that's the... I mean, that and Raw, do, both do not hold up. There's certain bits that do. Absolutely, but I'm saying it's the just Johnny like, Carson when you getting watch married. Though, but you see some of his tricks, though, now. Yeah. By the way, Raw and Del- Delirious particularly, I watched 70 times as a child. Yeah. Seven. I mean, easy. Like, I knew it front and back. I thought it was great because you do think, but I'm saying like now, like being uh, more, uh, yeah, you know, the, learned in also, the skill of of comedy. I'm just like I look at it from a different perspective. I'm like it was pretty good. I, I think also good. about when it came out at the time, those tricks weren't, you know, like in stand up. They now we know those tricks of like so and so having gay. Yeah, most people would just say he's like the same. Well, well, somebody would go, oh, so and so is ripping off Dane Cook now, or so and so is ripping off. You know, I got like a tell always. I'm yeah. ripping off a tell. Where was like, I mean, you're just going to see, you see all of the, uh, Eddie, or you see all of the, whatchamacallit, Richard Pryor all over him. Yes, absolutely. But he never really had a chance to ascend beyond that. Do you think that's why, specials. do you think that's why he's never came back? Cause why, like, well, look, I kind of almost agree with him too. It's like, why go out there and swing in it again? He goes, they're legendary. Yeah. They'll be on cable for the rest of our lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So don't go I out there. I saw Raw on cable the other day, so why go out there? I was Martin equivalent. Lawrence did two special, uh, run tell that and one recently that are just, they're uncomfortable. Yeah. After he lost his mind, like, after Eddie Murphy, after he, if Eddie Murphy ever comes back and wants to do comedy good, he's going to have to talk about fucking picking up a tranny. Yeah. And, I mean,. I don't care if the story's 20 years old. He's got to acknowledge it. Yeah. I and he think, doesn't want to. I always equivalent it with, like, it's like a retired quarterback, and you're like, hey, throw that f- football the same way you did when you were 19 years old. I don't like, think. He can do He can't do it. I don't think he can do it the same way. And you're right, because all the tricks are out there. I wanted to move past the word equivalent so much. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's a thing. Equivalent. <laughs> Is equivalent a word? It's equate. Equate? Or, or it's or it's the equivalent of okay, equivalent <laughs> sounded good. I by the way, it sounded so good. In my de- deliberation, I hated myself. That's some funny shit, man. I don't know what this means. Equivalent uh, is a verb uh, to equate, to consider or make equal, or equivalent. Equivalent. Hey, I'm not as dumb as I thought I was. Nailed that was it. A super smart word. It's like S-A-T I said. I, di- I said that I didn't think it was a. But yeah. You nailed it. Wow. I was wrong. So I was right to hate myself for that. I was going to say in my deliberation in my head, part of it hated myself for not no for being like that. Maybe I'm just wrong, and I was. I'm just the kind of person where if you're like, that's not a real world. I'm like, ah, I don't know where I picked it up. Me too. I just go it's like, oh, I'm a stupid <laughs> idiot oh, moron. Oh man, if I was handsome, I would, yeah, like if I was a uh, Roman, this wouldn't be a problem. It's the uh, to equivalent. Yeah. Okay. There we go. It's the word of the day on the bonfire. Ah! Yay! <laughs> can, can we get anyone to say equivalent? Um, yeah, I know. We so bad want to get back to these. I, just, I got excited because we started watching the video. as a, These as, vlogs. As a family, we started watching the video vlog. It is so fun. It just makes Jacob so happy. Uh, Jacob really does I said light off, up. I said off air that Jacob was listening to it with his eyes closed <laughs> yeah. like an old man listens to, like, the symphony. But he goes, oh, like, no. He's like, he goes, no, he goes, right. he goes, listen to that. Oh, yes. He goes, oh, the, his stupid words are dancing. They're dancing with my palate. Look at how he's blown away that salmon could go on a BLT. Doville's here. Yeah, Doville. Easily our favorite engineer. Hands 1,000. 1,000%. 1, oh, Doville was a rolling stone. <laughs> um, Wherever he laid his hat was his home. When he died. You, I thought you almost had it. And then, <laughs> and then you didn't at all. I didn't have it at all. No. Um, let's bring up the video blog. You need to get over here, Doville? I say Doble's probably the most popular person in the room right now with our fans. Yeah. 
he is a uh, what's he is he sucking off Lou under the console? Yeah. <laughs> what's happening? Let's go down to Christine. Doville no, Brew number seventy five. <laughs> don't let don't you go down below that console <laughs> if you ain't gonna finish them off. <laughs> don't don't let a girl around me. <laughs> Doville disappeared and Christine started giggling. <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> what's going on in here? Okay, let's get it. She want, my baby gets whatever she wants. Oh. One thing you got to know about this relationship. You got to know two things about it. Number one, I do hit her. Oh, I don't know why I was so upfront with that. Is this where she asked for something, Jacob? Jacob knows immediately where we are. He was like helping out. He was helping Doville out. Jacob's like Mr. Skin of white stupidity. Yeah, yeah. He goes, Jacob goes, he goes, at two minutes and 24 seconds. He can't get it. That's the stupidest thing. He doesn't know if it's pull or push on the door. (laughs) Two minutes, 17 seconds in. (laughs) Three minutes and 42 seconds in, you see a man lose his goddamn mind over the existence of a salmon BLT. How have you never heard of a fish food BLT? It's BLT is just the dressing for a real sandwich. <laughs> what do you want? I want to get one. I want to get one. I treat it like a princess. Like, well, what is doesn't it? A, does a princess want lifesavers? Then princess gets it. She goes, at, at these are the no no eating when I run candy? He goes, yeah, baby, you can't eat that when you run. Remember, you choke? In this relationship, every day is like a princess. He goes, it's pretty bad. It, she's pretty much inbred, and she has control of land she's never been to. And <laughs> she has a chastity belt on that her dad has the key to, which it's, is pretty bizarre. It's weird. We go real deep with this princess stuff. She has people <laughs> executed pretty regularly. Um, he goes, she made Jackson fight a lion to even come on this trip. He goes, it's pretty crazy. She keeps calling him her sire He's or like, something. He's like, fuck that line up, that bro. <laughs> What's up, Brad? You know you did it, Jackson. Jackson, you fucked that lion up. And remember you in the call, <laughs> Sam? He's like, I was sick, bro. <laughs> Check out my new longboard. Uh, she is so hot. I was thinking almost quite the opposite. I'm like, man, you get this girl in a sweater, she's kind of what's sort of whatevs. No way, man. Her face doesn't blow me away at all. I think she's gorgeous. She, and pull the room. Well, uh, Jacob loves her. Oh, come on. I mean, <laughs> He's like this I love dress down. I love that She's you wearing... like, I love that you like. would you waste any of your precious time on this corny white bitch? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thumbs up from Doville. Oh, shit. Well, if Doville says, I'm not going to go against Doville. Yeah. Oh, Doville knocks his white pussy young. Well, let's, pull, uh. let's pull the lose. White Lou. Yay or nay right there. No, white lady. Uh, I'm not going to argue this girl is, 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 is hot. I'm just saying her just by face. If you walk by her making that fit, would you be like, holy shit. At the, bonfire, stunning? at the bonfire SXM on Twitter. Her body is insane. But right there, she looks like a plain Jane. And she and she's hot. She's yeah. also hot. I'm just saying, like, when you when you see this that particular picture, when you go, she's, I'm surprised you went, she's gorgeous. She, like, she actually doesn't look that gorgeous to me right I think there. she looks, looks very nice. I think she's a very nice looking lady. What are you, her uncle? She's a very nice girl. <laughs> She's a very nice gal. Hit play, Christine. What is it? Dummy. Of course you can, baby girl. Oh, stop calling her baby girl. And you put a skateboard down. Princess baby girl. Okay, princess, duchess, baby girl, <laughs> queen of universe. She goes, come yeah. on, baby girl. Kind of the candy that's not hard, but it's not liquid. Hey, Ensign Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Let me put my skateboard down. One thing you guys need to know about Sierra is that she has the biggest sugar tooth ever. It's called a oh, sweet excuse. tooth. Sugar tooth? By the way, that was the cook. He goes, get the fuck out of the way. Is that, is that how you sneeze? No, I wasn't sneezing. I'm trying to blow my ear. I'm, I'm getting worried about my ear tooth. again. She has a sugar tooth, Jay. That's a bigger problem. It is bigger fish to fry. She is, yeah. She's not going to keep that body. Oh, man. What if the seams bust off that thing? I would lo- I'd would. love watching girl. I'm like, please just get fat. Oh, That'd be that, great. I can't wait till she's in soda territory. <laughs> yeah. That's it. If you wait long enough, Jacob, you wait long enough, you can fuck this chick. <laughs> yeah, you got to just, you just hey, got to Can wait. I also point out Roman has those perfect California white teeth? Yeah, those are super bleached. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Do you bleach teeth? Sometimes you bleach teeth. Sometimes there's a there's like a photo thing they can do to it too. Like, well, those things are fucking pearly white. Hip play. 
Ever. Oh, excuse me. There you go. Excuse me. All right. Oh, my so, man. Like, everywhere I go to keep Sierra happy, I always have to have a little bit of candy tucked into her pocket. Is she a barn animal? Man, I'll tell you what. Those nips are on high alert even through a sweater, huh? Jeez Louise. Wow. Must be must be an open I see a little door. areola outline and a tight nip. That's what gummy bears do to her. <laughs> he goes, all you guys should know this, that Sierra gets pretty soft and wet for sugar. It's pretty fucking weird. All right. One thing you guys should know, her nips hard up real nice for gummies. <laughs> yeah. I got to keep a couple in my pocket and I feed her like a lamb at a petting zoo. She is a real fucking idiot. And I'm dumb. And that's coming from me, and I'm dumb. <laughs> She's so dumb. And that's coming from me. It's pretty dumb. I almost die every day because <laughs> of Mr. Magoo-like situation. That's coming from me. It's pretty dumb. I almost die every day because <laughs> of Mr. Magoo-like situations where I walk onto passing beams of steel, and then I walk onto a construction site. Where are they going? I don't know. We, we haven't, haven't w- been able to get pa- in two weeks. We haven't been able to get out of this fucking convenience store. Let's just keep going. I They're like- loading up the convenience store to go somewhere. <laughs> we can't get out of the store. <laughs> because, you know, we were going to get out of the beach, but I'm just so fucking mind blown by this guy's BLT. <laughs> With salmon. (laughs) I got to go sit on an edge of a cliff and just (laughs) think this out for a little bit. Because it's like pig and fish. (laughs) I know you do, babe. Ah, oh, back wait, to wait, me wait. ripping it. It's a uh, vegetarian smoked soy turkey, but I don't they know still haven't ordered about, yet. So I've never heard of soy turkey in my life. Yeah. So we just sat down. I don't know if I'm gonna get breakfast or lunch yet. Oh man, this guy. Breakfast. This guy's hitting the hard hits. Okay, food is taking a long time. I'm getting a little hypoglycemic. See it, dude? Like taste buds. Pause it right there. That is such a hot person. I think I know science word hypoglycemic because my ex girlfriend who was hot used to use that term all the time where she'd be like can we get food I'm like hypoglycemic and it's uh, like if my blood sugar is low like I can really freak out I can you really not, freak out how did she her by the back of the neck and ram her into a wall <laughs> I, I did drag her underwater Oh, my God. Anyone that gives me, like, with eating has to go, like, I don't know. I don't care. I just have to. I, man, that fucking drives me wild. It's hers. almost, uh, it really does make me insanely angry. When people are, like. Or when, angry. When, when people, when people, <laughs> yeah, when people get, like. <laughs> yeah. When people get into a shitty mood. I'm sorry. Our second date, my ex-girlfriend was terrible. Was a terrible person. And then she was, like, sorry. I, like, my blood sugar dips, and I'm become a different person. She's like, Dan, I want to talk to you, but me, Roman, and Sierra are going to hit the beach, but first we're going to really fucking trip out at this convenience store. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, they have gummies. Yeah, yeah. Play. Oh, you should you bring said, a, they should bring the uh, middle school kids taking a tour into this show. You said she was awful on the second date, but you just... <laughs> she was crazy hot, dude. Yeah, she was beautiful. <laughs> she was awful on the second date? Yeah, I knew on the second date. <laughs> on the second date, I was like, Ah, oh, this chick's a high maintenance. High How many years were you doing? Two years. <laughs> <laughs> you are a go uh, Yeah, I'm a real Is dumb dog. Yeah, I love Is there really a, a grade school being brought around? Right now, they're in a no, college, and the college is called Corey's Angels. <laughs> yeah, they come in? They want to come great in drop, Lou. <laughs> great drop. They're in my program. Do they want to come in? Actually, they should come in. They should be here for a live show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, kid questions to Jay and Dan? Yeah. Are they kids? Yeah, some of them are tiny. Some of them are tiny? I don't know. It looks like... I don't know. Summer program? We're just waiting on my, my Mondo rap. I got, I got like, the Wait, rap pause it. Pay your respects to Doville, everybody. Fix Doville! The thank you very much. Doville. 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 Oh, Doville was a rolling stone. He fixed my computer and went home. And when he died. Oh, like, he had a snack in the fridge. Yeah, there's like 20, 20 kids. What's uh, like a fucking scared straight cholo program over there? I've never seen so many teenagers with fedoras on. Like, what about the kids? <laughs> but the kids. I'm trying to keep kids out of gangs like we were in. So we brought you in with these degenerate funny people. You know what his eyes look like, Roman? What? His eyes look like... Uh, Deep Blue Sea, my hat is a shark's fin? Yeah. No, remember uh, in Men in Black when they realized that the galaxy was all inside the cat's little necklace thing? Yeah. 
It looks like galaxies. Oh, Roman, you have galaxy eyes. He's got galaxy eyes. I bet you, I bet you guys could fuck if you said that to him. You go, He's Roman, like, you have galaxy eyes. He goes, no one's ever said that. Like, I'm just going to sit here and lower my bottom lips so you can see that my bottom teeth are also pretty perfect. Oh, awesome. I'm waiting for the Mondo wrap. That's where the chef comes in my burrito, and I'm unaware of it because I'm an unbearable person. We're almost through this. Supposed to be supposed to get here. Here he comes. I mean, her nipples are. Uh, Look at the festivities. Uh, Shut up, Taylor. Shut your. Jackson, shut your goddamn mouth. Oh, he got his giraffe, but he got potatoes. Give me five. These potatoes are so good. Babe, did you like it? I think it's like, give me five. And it's like, just fucking stop all day. But I think we're going to go burn this burrito off, go skate a little bit, check out the scene on Venice Boardwalk. Stay tuned. I think I so hate him. Appreciate it. You're the best, bro. Thank you. You say every time he says to me, you reiterate, do you hate him? Like, there was a point you're like, I'm starting to like him now. I hate him. Yeah. I really like, there's a story. I don't, I've never liked him at all. Where he goes, ah, oh, oh, this is a pretty good rap, I guess. I'm going to go shake the dude's hand. If you were, if you, if I was a chef, and some guy was filming me on his phone, shaking his hand. I'd be like, who the fuck is this guy? She, by the way, is so into him. What? Look at her. Look at her face. Yeah, that's real love right there at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Get a, get a girl the, the way that Sierra looks at Roman. <laughs> get, yourself mean, a she man. Looks at get yourself a girl. <laughs> when he dumps her, she is going to. She looks at him confused. She's like, are you a boy or a girl? She goes, you're so mystical that I want to be with you, but I also want to be you. She's like, wait, are we not lesbians? <laughs> she thinks, like, I thought we were in a lesbian relationship. You're a pretty. You're than me. <laughs> I think a love like that could be real. Yeah, it is, Jacob. That's a drop. <laughs> That's an R and B song come to life, Jacob. That's what. Never knew love like that. like that could be real. I need a hero. Boom. He goes, all right, thanks, bud. You're lucky I don't have access to a knife, or I'd cut you right now. I'd put one right in between your ribs. Oh, he's being filmed constantly, and it's gonna be. Oh, okay. Well, I guess. Uh, all right. Well, I'm pretty busy. You're hitting me at a lunch rush, but I guess I'll shake your dumb fucking hand. Bro, thanks so much for this. I can't believe you were able to figure out salmon oh. and bacon you, and lettuce oh. and tomato. How you wrapped up all that stuff into that one wrap, I honestly, it's going to take me four years of, like, graduate school to understand that. But anyways, you want to see Sierra P? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the guy goes, I, I mean, yeah, I can have someone watch the grill. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it's like my cousin and me own the place, so he'll, he'll watch the... He goes, oh, he'll watch the front. Hell, does she have to pee now, or, or yeah. she's like... Or she goes, you, she's drinking water, bro. Give her like five minutes. Oh, she'll go behind the dumpster. <laughs> I, I do have a private office. Dude, that'd be sick, too. Yo, if you actually throw in 20 more bucks, she'll finger her butt while she does it. I go, hold on. Hey, babe, you want to go pitter-patter in the man's <laughs> garbage can? She goes, I... Can I have a gummy? He goes, I feed her gummies, and she does sick shit. Bro. Hey, babe, you want to go tinky winky behind the dumpster? <laughs> yeah. He goes, what I do is I gave her instead of giving her regular gummies, I give her edible gummies, and then I just kind of control her. It's pretty. Fucked up. <laughs> it's pretty much what happened to Brian Wilson from uh, yeah. Beach Boys with, <laughs> with the therapist. It's, it's a pretty wild game we're playing, actually. Uh, it pretty goes pretty deep. It's like a mix of Saw and Sliver, where I kind of just like watch everything she does, but also like I control it. I'm a little foggy on the legality of everything I'm doing here. I don't know. This is straight kidnapping. She was originally <laughs> from Sacramento. She hasn't been home in fucking... <laughs> Hit play. Let's just get out of this restaurant and see what these morons end up. Appreciate it. You're the best, bro. Thank you. So... Sierra stole my jacket. <laughs> Bigger. Bullshit. He's about to step on the glass. 34 years drug free. Hi, that lady. She looks like my neighbor. Remind me. Step on the glass. Oh, he's heckling a street performer. Dude, I hate him now. I hate him now. He just heckled a street performer, a homeless man, to step on glass. He goes, shut up and step on the glass. You know. Your life is meaningless outside of my enjoyment. I've come to love your emotions so much. Why? 
Because this every time you say it, buddy, you're redoing it like it's like no. Now it's official. I just now I hate him. Whoa, 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 whoa! You hated whoa. him before. But Jay, mm-hmm. now I really hate yeah. Him. Now, boy, <laughs> I ought to. <gasps> oh, but Jay, whatever the last one was. Times but how many times two. have you been? How many times have you been complimented by this guy, and you got to just sort of like eat it? Yeah, where he goes. I thought you were pretty funny. Yeah, he goes, dude, pretty fucking hilarious stuff, bro. Honestly, fucking, and like, and you're like, oh, it's like I bet, like, because that's that person. You always know it's like take the compliment and run. Also, because what's coming right behind it is gonna hurt. Is, no, it's not that. What's oh. coming right behind it is like it goes. The other fucking guys in the show fucking sucked. They're like, dude. you know, it's like you were the you were the best by far, dude. I was getting ready to leave, and you're like, those are all my friends. Yeah. Don't be a cock. Oh, I mean, seriously, like, like the, by the third guy, I was like, these are amateurs. Like me and my bros, I fucking do, hate that. You went up, and I was like, this guy's pretty funny. Where have I seen you before? Yeah. yeah, he goes, no, nah, you've done something. <laughs> where was it? No, where do I know you from? I don't know you, motherfucker. I don't know your life. You act like I'm in your brain. He's like, no, Sierra and I just finished having sex. She was pooping, and I saw you. <laughs> I remember it because, like, she the, was fudging. She calls it fudging. We get it, but then we don't talk about it. <laughs> he play where he heckles this fucking street performer. Step on Thirty-four years drug-free. Deposit. Yeah. I have seventeen children. <laughs> Ain't had kids. Ain't had teeth since Clinton was in office. Who wants to watch my ship on the square? <laughs> Shut up. He play right here. Shut up! Look like my neighbor. Step on the glass. Shut the fuck up. Oh. oh. He said, shut the fuck up. That's great. He couldn't cut it. He couldn't cut his video fast enough. That's the guy telling me, shut the fuck up. Complete joke. Like, this garbage. Garbage. What? Hold on. Wow. Uh, hold on. Hold the fuck on. Uh, hold on. These two fucking idiots. So that glass guy was a complete joke. Garbage. His garbage. face. Hold on. He goes. I'm like super bummed out about it. Like I'm super bummed out because I thought he was gonna like cut his feet off and he was gonna die, but he just like walked over it. What, dude, they are intolerable people. Yeah. And then I like that they're there with the skateboard and these guys are like, this isn't his friend, right? If, if this is his friend, I'm an idiot. It's not his friend. They're just watching other people skateboard. Yeah. Hi. She thinks the skateboard is gonna hit her. So close. So we're just over here at the skate park. We're just hanging. Pretty busy day over here at Venice. What? This is how me and you should wrap up our show every time. Uh, Dude, can I I do that? Keeping it mellow. Yeah. So uh, anyway, guys, it's been a pretty great week. We actually we have to wrap it up. So it's actually I, I really hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the lost tapes on the podcast. I don't. Week. I, don't and, um, <laughs> I don't want the golf people are close to us. No, don't worry about it, Dan. Okay. So uh, on behalf of me and Dan, Dan's gonna be at Dan's gonna be performing the accidental comedy fit. <laughs> the accidental. I don't know. I'm like accidental comedy fest. Uh, for tickets, you can go to accidental comedy. I'm scared. I just... <laughs> Wait, hold on the neck. Hold on the neck. You, go, you can um, see Jay. You go, I don't know. I'm scared, though, Jay, because I'm scared that I could. <laughs> no, it's totally. And then it's great. Dan's going to be on the road for all okay. tickets, too. But sometimes, all tickets to his shows, you can go to dansoder.com. Jay, I like gummies. I know you do. I know you do. Do I? Also, Dan's half hour sp- Dan's half hour special is available uh, as part of the stand ups series you can, on, you can on see, Netflix. You can you can see Big J at at Omaha's Funny Bone Thursday through Saturday. And also he'll be at Rick Bronson's House of Comedy in Minneapolis from September seventh to September 9th. Mm. Mm. As always. And follow us at the Bonfire XXM on Twitter and Instagram. Also go to BigJCommedy.com for tickets. <laughs> and we'll see you on Monday. Bombums. <laughs> 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 <laughs>